as you can tell by the title of this video i'm finally back y'all it's only been like three days i went to DreamCon. yeah you know you know what i'm saying don't see all this mess in the yeah all this mess right here in the back i gotta still pack up and stuff i just wanted to get home and record it's currently like 12 a.m so um but i'm back from DreamCon, and you know you don't know, look at like, you know what i'm saying incredible <laughs> got the got the Got the baseball tee and everything, bro. Like, come on now. You cannot tell me this is not like you're gonna be seeing this in videos now from now on. For the most part, I just want to talk about like my experience at DreamCon. Oh my god, DreamCon. It was overall pretty good. I did feel I'm not like guys, and this is just me. I don't get out of my house a whole lot, so like to be around a huge crowd like that was was like me really stepping out of my comfort zone like it, it, it was crazy yeah, so i don't know where i'm about to head next now that i got the badge uh i've never been to nothing like this before like i i hardly go out of my house so um i have no idea what i'm about to do i think they said there was like two twenty two twenty three thousand people there crazy you guys will probably be seeing this sometime on like maybe the 30th maybe the, the 31st something like that of july i don't know when um, I did have some videos that I recorded before I went out of town, so I gotta actually go edit those. But this will probably come out before those, so you'll be seeing a newer video before the older video. Like I said, overall, nice experience. First day, we had the opening ceremony, which I couldn't make it in time for because, um, yeah, I just, I just wasn't there yet. Dodgeball, we had a few meet and greets and stuff like that throughout, sprinkled throughout the convention and stuff like that. We had, the second day, we mainly had the basketball game the bay brigade thing uh bay battle brigade i think it battle brigade something like that oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah we doing it okay now first things first y'all ready to play y'all ready to play I'm gonna be throwing up probably some footage that I got y'all I got no experience with vlogging or anything like that these clips are like I swear the longest clip I recorded was probably a minute like I didn't get like a whole bunch of footage yes the bay it's called the bay brigade battle and it was hosted by story mode bay um and yo that event was so fire it was like where you like there was like so story mode bay she was like the host of that um, and you would pretty much just choose a song and people would like, or she would like choose a category and then you have to choose a song. The two teams would have to choose a song that like best fits that category. And, um, you know, then the crowd would choose pretty much by how loud and how vocal we were and how like just the crowd reaction would choose. Sorry, that was my chair, y'all. Would choose the, um, the song, like what got chosen. And it was a lot of fun. I definitely did like that. There was some, there was some song. They played like Not Like Us. They played... It was, it was a lot. On the second, or on the third day, Sunday, um, I did the Berlizzi family feud and then the closing ceremony. Well, 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 Mr. Berlin, or Berlizzi, as they call it. You know my shit? Check Cat Williams, I am such a- Wipe your lip, nigga, you're doing too much glazing. Now, I know you've been- My suggestion to you is you go ahead and take off that small-ass ball cap. Rethink your suit, because we remember what happened last time you did something like this. I couldn't tell if that was sweat, but somebody saved you from drowning. I didn't know you saw that. And just get out there and be yourself, okay? Because we can do it it's the easy way, or the hard way. Do they still work? That's what You know what I mean? I can't just be on my roller all the time. You could have stayed home, but he came. So look, that's how I you know the dream con is for real. So thank y'all yeah. so much, and we appreciate y'all. We hope you had a great weekend. Yeah. So overall, like I said, it was a cool event. Um, I really don't have too much to say about it. I mean, it was just like it's an anime and gaming convention, and not only that, it's expanding more into different areas but at its core it's an anime and gaming convention uh you're around a lot of like if you're into anime gaming uh if you're a smaller content creator trying to start you know you're you're around that's the thing that i really like about dreamcon you're around like-minded people 
if you're into those things, you're going to be around like minded people and everything one there that I talked to was really cool. One thing I didn't like, and this is mainly on me, I will 100% admit it, this was mainly my fault. I didn't. So for the main events, there was something called RSVP. And you know, obviously that's like reservations and stuff like that. So you for the main events, you had to reserve them. And then it, there was like a QR code that you have and it becomes like a part. It's like under your account once you RSVP for those events. I didn't like the system too much, but I feel like RSVP should have been treated more like fast pass. Like there should have been a regular line and then an RSVP line. Like if you had RSVP, you just go straight ahead. But if you have the normal, you didn't RSVP or anything like that that's when you would stand in that super long line like guys these these lines i'm not even kidding i wish i got a video of them but these lines were literally wrapping around the whole entirety of a floor like of one floor and it was a big building this is a convention hall guys but yeah so god i've already been recording for 16 minutes i'm just yapping y'all but i want to show y'all something real quick i got some cool stuff like besides this shirt and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I did get some custom Nintendo Switch controls, but I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you something cooler. Hold up. Guys, look at this. Now, if you don't know who's Katana, this, yes, first of all, I can't even, I can't even unsheathe it. Um, oh. Guys, this is a Katana YouTube. It's, please don't demon, demonetize me or anything like that. It's fake, not a real Katana, okay? And it's not. They can't sell those anymore. They tried to sell them last year, but people were being stupid with them. Yes, if you don't know, this is Law's Katana from One Piece. But look at this, y'all. And it's like actually got some weight to it. It's stainless steel. So it's not an actual real sword, but it still looks cool, okay? But yeah, y'all, you know, DreamCon 2024, it was fire. RDC, great event. Every YouTuber, everyone who had a panel there, great job, staff, and everyone did great. I don't know who else is going to see this video because no one likes to see a yapping video, bro. That being said, hope you guys, um, I guess, enjoyed the video, enjoyed some of the footage that I got. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.